Hello, and thank you so much for joining us today here at Agility Communications. We're going to be introducing you today to the Avaya Vantage phone that you can see here. We're going to spend a couple of minutes talking about some features and some ways in which you can navigate around the phone, how you can use it throughout your workday to accomplish a variety of, of really good tasks and features that are built right into the phone. The phone synchronizes through Avaya Equinox so that it is streamlined with your desktop client as well as your smartphone client so you've got a via equinox with you no matter where you go we're going to spend some time today talking about the physical layout of the phone we're going to talk about getting logged into the google play store and getting things set up here so we're going to go ahead and get into the google play store by using a google email address you can go ahead and search for a via equinox and that application will get pulled up while we wait on that to load, we can go ahead and talk about these buttons that are down here at the bottom of the phone. We've got a triangular back button. We've got a circular button that actually takes you back to the home screen of the phone you can see there. And then this square button will toggle any open applications that you can see. Along the right hand side of the phone we have some items to keep in mind. There is a three and a half millimeter headset jack along the side here where you can insert a, a tethered headset. There are also a couple of volume buttons towards the bottom side of the speaker phone here that you can see. The speaker is what you can use as, as a default audio device. This version of the phone came with a cordless version of a Bluetooth handset that you see there, and there are also corded versions available. Let's jump back over to Avaya Equinox, and we're going to go ahead and let that application load. You can see my top of mind screen here. I do want to get into a little bit of a more zoomed in view, so I'm going to get the camera adjusted here so we can take a closer look at what's going on with the application itself. So when Avaya Equinox opens, you're going to see a very similar screen to what you have on your desktop client, as well as what you have on a smartphone. You've got your top of mind screen, as well as several built-in options that synchronize based on your corporate directory and your corporate email address. There is a little drop-down menu here next to the top of mind label that allows you to rearrange the physical layout of the top of mind screen. And you can do this to any of the other menus as well, any of the other sub-menus like messages or history or favorites. You can certainly toggle them and rearrange them. They have a little button on the right hand side here where you can hide things. So if you go back to the main top of mind screen you can see now the messages are no longer being displayed in my top of mind view. If I ever want to change that or put that back to how it was previously, the, sh the show button is now what is visible and when you toggle that and go back to your top of mind screen you can see the messages are now back in place. Zooming in a bit closer here so we can take a look at placing a phone call. In the upper left corner you're going to see the option to toggle a keypad and I'm going to go ahead and get dialed into a conference call here so that we can talk about call handling features that are built into the Avaya Vantage. Now towards the bottom of the screen you're going to see what looks like an ellipses button with three dots. That has a few of our basic call handling features built into it. Uh, you can see on the bottom right corner here I've already got my call muted. Inside the ellipses button we have some options that we're going to talk about now. Now the first one here is the conferencing feature. You can see I'm given the option to either choose a contact from my corporate directory or I can manually enter a phone number for someone that I'd like to add to the call. Putting a call on hold is rather straightforward. We've got a pause button here in the middle of the screen. We simply push that button, pauses our call, puts it on hold, and taking it off of hold is just as easy. In the upper right corner of the phone, we do have a speaker button that will allow us to toggle various audio options. Again, we do have that 3.5 millimeter headset tethering option on the right-hand side of the phone. And there is an RJ9 port on the back of the phone for a traditional headset plug-in. All right, let's talk about voicemail on the Avaya Vantage phone. You can see in the upper right hand corner here, as I adjust the camera, that there is an indicator light that shows a message is waiting for you on the phone. When that light is lit up, you will know there is a brand new message. There's also a way inside of Equinox's application in the upper left hand corner, you can see there is a red ellipses button. If we toggle into there, there's going to be another red button lit up that looks like an old style tape recorder. So when that button is lit red, you know that you've got a message waiting for you inside of Equinox. Tapping that button will dial you into the voicemail system and you will then be prompted for your extension number as well as your password in order to retrieve those new messages. Okay, let's talk about an incoming call on the Avaya Vantage phone. 
you can see here when we're logged into Equinox, our top of mind screen is going to be our typical visual starting point. When we have an incoming call, we're going to get an indicator uh, with our visual voicemail light in the upper right hand corner. It's going to start flashing as well as your screen will change with two very straightforward options. We're going to be able to field the call and answer it by pressing the green button or we can ignore the call by pressing the red button and then our caller will be directed to our voicemail box. Thank you so much for your time today during this training session on the brand new Avaya Vantage phone. Please feel free to check out our YouTube channel. We are always uploading new content. We have several new videos on IP Office Release 11, so feel free to take advantage of any of the training sessions that we have there. We also have our Twitter feed and our website that has been revamped, and if you should ever need any support uh, assistance, you have our phone number there on the screen as well. But we appreciate the time that you spent today with us. We hope that this has been beneficial for you, and we hope to uh, see you again soon.